to boost manufacturing, generate employment, increase exports, and cut imports, the government had launched the Production Linked Incentive or PLI scheme. At present, it covers 14 significant sectors and involves a total outlay of 3 trillion rupees. And the government initiative has started showing clear results. This week, Apple's vendors have made a commitment of a minimum incremental production of 25,000 crore rupees of mobile devices in FY23 beginning from 1st April. It is a threefold jump in the commitment of minimum incremental production over FY22. But how is the PLI scheme progressing in other sectors? And what are the challenges ahead? Things are not going according to plan in one sector, at least. On 30th March, a Financial Daily reported that of the 14 eligible firms, only two or three were likely to meet their first-year targets under the PLI scheme for IT hardware for the financial year ending 31st March. Apple has seen a strong growth momentum in India, driven by deepening iPhone production and made possible by a diversified supplier base. At Cybermedia Research, our insights point to iPhone exports growing 192% year-on-year in 2021 and most of these were to develop markets. As such, I remain optimistic about Apple's uh, long-term opportunity in India as well as uh, India emerging as an export hub. Having said that, there are always uh, potential variables at play. These include, for instance, managing the input and uh, logistic costs and make keeping them competitive as well as potentially managing a workforce of nearly 40,000 plus workers. According to the report, some of the companies concerned blamed the situation on inadequate SOPs under the scheme. Meanwhile, others blamed the ongoing chip shortages and global supply chain disruptions. While the current corpus for IT hardware PLI is 7,350 crore rupees spread over four years, members of the industry have told the Financial Daily that they want the corpus to be expanded to up to 20,000 crore rupees. According to the report, the industry believes that additional incentives are needed to make India more attractive than China and Vietnam. Issues regarding allocations have cropped up in the past too. In November last year, the Department of Pharmaceuticals had urged the government to provide additional funds of about 3,000 crore rupees under the PLI scheme for drugs. Citing a senior government official, Business Standard recently reported that a decision on the demand would be taken once the funds allocated to the pharmaceutical department are utilized. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology is in charge for the PLI scheme for large-scale electronics manufacturing, IT hardware and IoT devices. Business Standard had earlier reported that the ministry had informed the authorities concerned that it would require more than 22,900 crore rupees for all the schemes that it is running. However, the budget available with the ministry is just 2,923 crore rupees. The additional amount would be used to offer more incentives to companies and boost exports. There are certain uh, challenges and I think like any, any other scheme, uh, PLI scheme also has its uh, sets of challenges. And if I were to name a few, I would uh, say that I think the time given to the industry uh, to really scale up in some of the schemes uh, is less. Uh, I particularly refer to the IT hardware scheme. Uh, so as you know, that the companies did not get the full uh, financial year to really uh, work and to claim that benefit. Uh, so a lot of the companies could start their operations only towards the end of the financial year. Uh, and as we know, there have been certain shortages uh, relating to the key materials like the chipsets uh, and other components, uh, which has you know, compounded the problem. Uh, so our suggestion would be that the industry should be given a full financial year uh, to really start the operations, to scale up, uh, and really uh, to become globally competitive, which was the prime objective of the PLI scheme. Another issue which uh, I could, you know, I would like to flag is particularly related to the IT hardware scheme. Uh, as we know that there is a large imports uh, happening of the IT hardware, almost $6 billion worth of IT hardware uh, is imported into the country. 
And I think uh, there is a crying need for import substitution and to make India uh, self-sufficient or truly Atmanirva uh, as far as uh, you know, this product is concerned. Uh, so I think what was really required was a scheme to, uh, to overcome all the disability factors which are there uh, in India in terms of manufacturing. And as we know, uh, this is one product uh, which is already ITA one bound, which means there is zero customs duty uh, on these products. So I think what was required was a bigger corpus and a larger, uh, you know, compensation to the manufacturers to overcome the disabilities. Uh, so our request uh, would be to the government and which has been through the industry associations is one to extend the tenure of the scheme and two, uh, to make it more viable for the industry uh, to make India the next hub for manufacturing of these products. Business Standard has recently reported that the government will undertake a two-stage review of the PLI scheme. During the review, the scheme's progress and implementation across various sectors will be discussed. Subsequently, the possibility of reallocation to government departments and ministries which need more funds will be assessed. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.